Hey everybody, I'm Invisible Katana, and today I will be doing my first ever loot anime unboxing. Um, of course, with it being loot anime instead of loot crate, I'm wearing my Naruto headband instead of my Back to the Future 2 hat. Um, also, because it is the haunted theme, I decided I'd wear my horror anime shirt. If you haven't seen another crazy gruesome anime, it's very good though, I love it. It's um, often considered the final destination of anime, but like... The first two Final Destinations, not like all the super gimmick, really cheesy ones after. It's like just crazy gruesome stuff. I think it's a great anime, so that's why I wore this. Um, and that's really the reason I got this month's craze, because it's haunted. This episode, uh, this month's episode is haunted, so I was like, I'm kind of a sucker for anything horror-based, and because I love this, I also love Hellgirl. Those are like the only two horror anime I've seen so far. I have to check out some of the others. But I really love them, love horror in general, so I was like, Alright, I think I'll get this one, and then I saw what series they chose, and two of them are, like, some of my favorites, one of which is, like, my actual favorite, like, manga series, period. The anime is, became, was my favorite, but, you know, like, I guess technically it's still my favorite, it's just, like, it's not, it's one of those ones that ended way before the manga ended, so the story's so different, it's like, meh, it's still really great, though, it made me read the manga, but, so I loved it, but I'm gonna get into this, uh, I have my Naruto... Minato Kunai here, which is, I don't know why they made it this way, but this is supposed to be, um, to go, like, with your keys and stuff, and I had it on there, but this is also just solid metal, so, like, it could actually stab someone, and when I dropped them one time at school, and the, like, one of the security guards found them, it was like, you know, you can't really have this, so I was like, alright, in case I lose my keys again, I don't want to risk losing my kunai, so now it sadly just sits in my house, but let's get into this. First thing is the shirt, which, let's see what we got. Ah, oh, sweet. So, t-shirt is Ruby, which I love, because Ruby, one of the series I was talking about, one of my favorites. So, that's one of the reasons I got the, you know, this month's crate was because of Ruby. And I love Ruby. Volume 3 just ended. If you haven't seen Ruby at all, definitely check it out. It's very amazing. It has its own game now, as well, which is on Steam. Um, I'm not sure if it's, I believe it's been greenlit officially at this point, but... That's very awesome. I was curious how they were going to do the horror thing um, with Ruby, because it's not exactly horror, but the creatures are called Grimm, which is, you know, based off of the Brothers Grimm, so that's really awesome. Got Tokyo Ghoul something. I have not seen Tokyo Ghoul, but I know, son of a gun, Tokyo Ghoul shot glasses. That is very cool. I do not drink. But I, oddly enough, I do have a huge collection of shot glasses. So this, I'm assuming, says Tokyo Ghoul in Japanese. I can just zoom in on that. So I'm assuming that's what that says. And then we have our main character. Oh, this is like, I think this is like an actual sticker on the <laughs> shot glass. Well, we have our main character right there. I'm assuming, of course, I've never seen it. I've seen pictures, of course. I've seen enough pictures to know that it's the main character. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to have to watch the anime before I use those because I have like OCD, which is weird. And we have, oh, we have hot chili salad flavored pretzels. Baked snack sticks. So I got that. I'm definitely going to try one of these out. Oddly enough, I'm actually doing a bake sale tomorrow at my school with my friends. And we're, of course, the nerdy manga club. So these would be perfect if I wasn't going to try them right now <laughs> and maybe I'll save some for my friends to just test out and we'll just sell whatever we have Let's see what we got. I wouldn't call them hot but I eat spicy stuff all the time so for some people this might be something it's seasoned it's definitely seasoned but it's not hot chili to me. This is, oh, wow. Another little ruby thing. This is actually pretty funny because they've had these in, um, I believe it was the Covert Crate. I'll zoom in so you guys can really see them. But uh, field notes for ruby. So these are way cooler than the Covert ones, which were literally just little tiny notepads. But with it being ruby, actually very awesome. So... That I'm okay with. I think that's actually really good. I kind of want to open these because I know... I think the second one... I'm just going to have to do it. If I can slide them out. 
Oddly enough, this is super tight so I can't slide them out, but when I got my Covert crate with the normal crappy ones, the thing was all broke ever anyway, like the glue it came undone, so they were all just out anyway. And this I actually want to keep, there we are. I actually want to keep them together, because I'm not going to use these. Oh, okay. So this one's pretty normal. This one just says Field Notes, but it has a grim picture on the back. But the one with Team Ruby on the front actually has a, a full picture. So that I really enjoy. And it has their actual uh, their symbols and everything. So that's actually pretty sweet. And this is like old style art. This is like the original art that they did when they like first put the show out. Because you see art now, it kind of looks different because they've kind of developed the characters a bit. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm never going to use these, but way cooler than the covert ones, which were just gray. Um, <laughs> little feel note things. And I'm assuming these are exactly the same. So this has like, this is like a normal notebook. And this one I believe will be graph. Nope, both of these are normal notebooks. I think with the covert crate, one was like just a regular journal. And then the other one was like graph paper. So a little bit different, but still some field notes. Make sure I put these back. I'm going to work on that because that'll, that'll take forever to actually do right. Let me have something else in here. Not a, I think it's like a, but oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we have this, which is nice and see-through, so I can see exactly where it's at on the camera. Um, nice little Oni, like, um, bandana if I want it to be. Depends on whatever I want to use it for, because it could be an ascot, which would be stupid. But it could be, I guess. Uh, what is this? Little Soul Eater patch. Little Soul Eater symbol. This was the other thing. I was. I wish it was way more than this, so that kind of sucks, but a little Soul Eater patch there. Soul Eater is my favorite anime. Oddly enough, I was actually wearing my Soul Eater short shirt today. I, I had to switch because I was supposed to get the crate on Tuesday, and then it was like, nope, you're getting it Thursday, but fortunately, um, I got it today. The keychain for this month is basically like a tiny little thing. It's almost, it's a mirror. That's what it's supposed to represent, if I'm correct. I'm just going to have to do it this way because... Yeah, there you go. So, it's basically a mirror. So that's actually kind of cool. There you go. Like, the light inside the mirror. All that fancy stuff. Yeah, And I have to do this in and out, because for any all of you who might be randomly coming across my channel, my autofocus kind of sucks. So, we'll do it that way. And manga for this month, Norigami, Stray God. I have not read this, but I've definitely heard of it a bunch of different times, so I'm actually pretty glad that that came in so that's really cool and I always love the um god I guess matte is the best way to describe it the matte feeling manga I always love those because most manga do come with the sort of um sort of the shiny covers and stuff and so this isn't reflective or anything it's a nice matte cover I've always liked that it's always it's always a weird thing it's like whenever it has that it always makes me feel like it's some sort of special type of manga but it's like just because it's like that doesn't mean it's any different like it it, it, well, technically it kind of does, because I believe that's, um, it's, uh, Shonen Jump that do, like, the shiny reflective covers, and I'm sure there are other Shonen Jump that don't, but, got something else in here, this feels like a, okay, more ruby, um, a ruby, oh, cool, so it's a ruby book note thingy, I haven't used one of these for a book, so I can't, in forever, so I can't remember what the heck they're actually supposed to be called, but ruby on one side, weiss on the other side, uh, it mentions, you know, you can start your uh, free 30-day trial for RoosterTeeth.com, which is where Ruby is premiered. You can also watch it here on YouTube. Um, it's on Crunchyroll as well. It's, I mean, that's that should be more than enough. It's on three separate sites. Um, if you watch it on Rooster Teeth, you will be watching the premiere episodes, and then YouTube gets it a week after. I believe Crunchyroll gets it a week after. I've never watched it on Crunchyroll, so I don't really know if they get it the day of or anything, but... If you watch it on Rooster Teeth, you can get it the day of. They've changed the premiere date because it used to be on Thursdays, and then this um, this volume was actually on Sundays. But if you are one of the sponsors, it'll be on Saturday for you. So you can do that, and I did that for the finale. I was like, I gotta do the free trial just to see the finale like one day early. But if you want to do that, then you know that's what you can do to get the uh, thirty day trial. And then I believe that's everything. That is everything. And then we have the awesome poster. Which I'm going to have to 
probably fold right back up because I don't have any real room. I have my, my GTA poster, I have the Destiny poster, which I could probably just, there's Destiny. And then I have um, Uncharted 3 over there with the uh, Penny Arcade style poster. So, here we are with the Haunted. Oh, that's very cool, actually. So it's actually... This is the first time I've really seen I've, like, kind of sped through some other loot anime unboxings. So this one's actually, like, a bit of a story. Because most of them are just pictures from what I've seen. So it's kind of like the first panel, then the big second panel here. And then we have our third panel towards the bottom. So that's actually kind of cool. Because the other ones, uh, like I said, from what I've seen, I guess I didn't pay... I, unless I wasn't paying enough attention. But all of those were just normal pictures. So it's kind of cool. It's like a little three panel deal, so that's pretty sweet actually. And then we have, of course, everything on the back here. So we got Ruby Phil notes, exclusive Ruby t-shirt, which is great. I might actually end up wearing that tomorrow at the bake sale. I was gonna wear something else, but might do that. So, of course, the Haunted Phone Charm, Norigami. Exclusive Norigami manga, uh, volume one. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, the Oni bandana mask. And then we have our Tokyo Ghoul shot glasses. I mean, it's everything that's in it, so I don't know why I'm reading <laughs> through it like that. But I like this one. I thought it was pretty cool. I do wish, honestly, um, that the Soul Eater thing was way more than this, because Soul Eater, like I said, that was the one that was, like, my favorite. Like, I saw the anime on YouTube, because Funimation has the whole thing up, and I blew through, I think, like, 52 episodes in probably, like, two weekends. Like, once I was out of school, I was watching them. And then I finished it, I was like, I have to read the whole manga. And I read the whole manga and caught up. And that was probably like a year or so before the manga finished. But the anime was so good to me, I was like, I have to read this whole manga. And that's what I did. So I, of course, wish that Soul Eater was a million times more than this patch. I would have loved it if, um, I don't know, maybe if the shot glasses were Soul Eater. I think that would be cool. Or if the bandana, if the bandana was Soul Eater, that would be pretty sweet because... Um, I don't really have any, this is like actually the only bandana that I really have, because I kind of have no reason to have a bandana, but I do kind of wish that, the, something, I wish something else was so weird, like if, you know, swap the shot glasses, the shirt thing I'm okay with, because I don't actually have any ruby stuff, so I was kind of hoping that the t-shirt would be ruby, um, I was also hoping that there'd be like a cool figure or something that I could use, but once again, I don't get loot anime, so I guess that's more of a loot crate type of thing. And I'm going to fold this inside out. It's, of course, um, I don't know if you guys have any guesses. I'll let you take a couple seconds to guess. But for this month's loot anime box, it is actually a haunted mansion. Which totally just fits every version of anything horror ever. And looking at the front of this, the first thing I think of actually is Resident Evil. Because I'm so into that franchise. But... It doesn't look anything like the front of that mansion, but it does make me think of that. Actually, it does a tiny bit. It's like, just barely, but I think that's because that's meant to look like a generic horror mansion when they made those games, so. That's pretty cool. It even has, like, I'm assuming this is supposed to be, like, the front, you know, porch and everything. But that's kind of cool. Nice little symbols and everything. And it's kind of a mirror, um... It's almost like a mirror version of the house, I guess. Or I guess one's the front and one is the back of the house. So, that makes sense. But not that great. Um, like I said, I really only got this because it was horror-based. Um, I was really surprised to see the Ruby thing when I first saw that, you know, it was haunted. I was surprised that Ruby was in there anyway. But, very glad to see Ruby getting represented. Um, also, technically, you know, I'd love to see the conversation of people like, Oh, it's not technically an anime because it's, it's made in America. But obviously anime inspired so i was glad to see it in here um norigami glad to get this i've seen this a ton so i know it's really popular and now it's going to get me into a, a whole new manga which is not good for me because i already got enough crap that i watch and read so that was nice um pretzels not spicy at all to me hot chili whenever i see that i feel like hot chili is never spicy it's supposed it's like it's hot chili and it's always like, it's kind of tangy. I feel like it's like that with no matter what you get. But these aren't too bad. I actually like the charm because, um, I don't know why, the, you know, the creepy mirror thing I think is actually kind of a cool concept for them to do for the charm. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, 
It's weird, but, you know, a book thing. I guess they've had weirder stuff, uh, uh, you know, in, like, some of the loot crates. But this is pretty cool. Field notes, like I said. Love the... More than anything, I just love the picture on this. Like, that's what I really like the most. And the nice little... Uh, grim design on the back of this one. I think is actually pretty cool, but it's not a bad crate. It's not like it didn't blow me away or anything um, I am really upset about the Soul Eater thing because I was like Soul Eater oddly enough outside of Tokyo Ghoul um, I think Soul Eater and Hell Girl are probably like and maybe another as well as maybe another I don't know if that's as popular, but Soul Eater and it's probably because it's you know older now compared to Tokyo Ghoul, but Soul Eater is like the perfect one for this, and it was like it got, you know, it was like a little here's a patch, and Soul Eater is literally all about demons and demon hunters and witches and all sorts of stuff, and it's like it got a patch. I was like, oh, that kind of blows, because I feel like that was one of the you know perfect representations of a horror anime, even though it's it's actually like a comedy action. It's the whole world is built around you know, the horror genre, so it's actually kind of a nice twist on it, but still, that sucks, they got, you know, delegated to that, but I still like this crate, um, definitely love the fact that it had a manga, I know one of the, I think it may have been the last one, didn't have a manga, I believe, or maybe one, maybe they all do, I don't know, I just watched, like, a couple of videos for, like, the last couple of my loot anime unboxings, that was, like, a week ago, but I remember there, I could have sworn there was one where it didn't have a manga in it, so I was glad, I'm glad this one had one. Uh, I'm also glad it wasn't Hellgirl, because I've seen that whole series, at least the first initial season of it, so glad it wasn't that. I also read the first volume fairly recently online, so I'm kind of glad it wasn't Hellgirl for that. And I knew what was going to be in here, because they you know, they say, well, like, this is the all the series that we chose. But I did enjoy it. Um, actually, I'm kind of excited to use these shot glasses, but like I said, I kind of feel like I'm going to have to wait until I actually watch the anime, because I'll feel like I don't deserve to drink out of them. But, fun crate. Um, really glad that Ruby was the item that got the t-shirt, because I have no Ruby apparel, so that's actually really great. Um, and the manga's really good. And the shot glasses are pretty cool, too, but I do wish... All I'm gonna keep saying is that I wish Soul Leader got way more, because it's my favorite, like, literally my favorite of all manga that I've read. It's Soul Leader, so that is, like, my biggest disappointment, but other than that, I do really like this crate. I love the shot glasses, because, oddly enough, I have a huge collection. Zero anime shot glasses, which is weird. Um, mostly because I stopped collecting a long time ago, and oddly enough, I don't really, like I said, I don't really drink, but I do every once in a while. So, can definitely use those. The manga I'm definitely excited to get into, because, like I said, I've seen it a million different times. I've just never really gotten into it, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what to think about this, the book thingy. And the field note art is cool. I do love the art on this because I love um, just the art of the characters. It's actually really great. So I certainly enjoy that. And also, for anyone who doesn't know, the pictures are the same. Like, this picture of Weiss is this picture of Weiss. And this is just, like, the full body picture. So these pictures are the same as right here. Just as a random note. But not a bad crate. Um, don't know when I'll ever do loot anime again. I only did it because it was horror-themed. So... If something else piques my interest, I'll probably do another loot anime unboxing. Other than that, it'll be all loot crates, which I still have, like, my year-long subscription, which I just recently renewed. So I'll be doing that until, like, February or March of next year, and then we'll see. Because the price has increased, so if it continues to increase, I might stop doing it. Because it's, like, all at once, because I do the year thing. It was, like, 180-something, I think, last year. And then it was, like, 220 this time. So... Well, it could have been less of a difference, but I, I'm pretty sure it was like 185 last time. But thanks for checking this out. Of course, definitely want to know what you guys thought about uh, this month's crate. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite items in this, uh, your least favorite items. Uh, what would you have switched around as far as the series that were chosen? Because like I said, um, I definitely would have switched the shot glasses for Soul Eater or the bandana. Actually, I would have switched the bandana because I think that could have been something really cool. Even if it was just the symbol or something, or if it was like a big picture of all the characters um, on here, I think that would have been really good, but that's really the only thing I would have done, I would have switched this for, you know, the bandana, and maybe just switched anything for field note books, because any, I, I don't know, I feel like anything else would have been better than these, because uh, I'm not going to really use them, but I did enjoy, I, I did like this crate, I, ultimately, once I get the shirts, if the shirt's good enough, that tends to be all I need, but I also got a really good manga, so I'm excited to read that. 
very excited to wear this shirt because I think that looks pretty good. It's actually interesting that they did an orange grim because there are no orange grim um, in the series. They're all actually like black, white, and red is their aesthetic. So they use some interesting colors because they also have this dark blue in here, which I think is very interesting, but it's not something you see too often in the series. Oddly enough, as many colors as there are, this specific, like, dark blue and this orange. The orange you see a tiny bit for a certain character, but the blue not too much. So it's kind of interesting um, colors that we don't, oddly enough, don't really see too much. And maybe it's supposed to be red, because Ruby's kind of orange as well, and her color is supposed to be red, so I don't know. But it's, it's orange. It, it, clearly, it's orange. Unless my shirt got messed up and I got orange and everyone else gets red. But still, definitely want to know what you guys thought about this month's crate. So please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.